Good morning. Hello, are we live? I think we are. There's a little bit of a lag, but that is okay. I think we're live if we are. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you all have had a great weekend. Me and Joe were here on Saturday uh, wishing you all a happy weekend and a crafty win at that because we showed you all how to make an awesome decorative towel. Well, today, guys, we're going to make this amazing resin tray. Now, I do have to say right off the bat, Tanner wanted to make this tray and I totally stole this project out from under him. I was like, I'm making this project. You are not. This one's mine. So I choose to make this today. So I can't wait to show you all uh, all about it. Real quick, I'm going to ask Joe and make sure everything is looking okay. Is it just the video that's buffering, Joe? I believe so. Comments are rolling in. Comments are rolling in. Okay, let me know, check on my phone really I'm quick. I'm not sure. I'll check on my phone. Uh, sure. Our computer has been having a little bit of issues today with YouTube. So I'm just going to make sure that we are live and rolling and everything is going well. And of course it pops up an ad for me. <laughs> like I don't see those enough. Let's see. Okay, look, we're live. Okay, so it looks are great. All, yeah, it good? looks great on the app. Perfect. So that is awesome. Joe, as long as comments are rolling in for you, just you can just check the app every now and again and make sure it's okay. We will move past these little um, technical <laughs> problems though, guys. But guys, good morning. Joseph, good morning. Good morning. How good morning. was your weekend? How well, well, I saw you on Saturday. Right. So how right. was your like Saturday evening, Sunday? It was fantastic. I was asleep by 7 p.m. on Sunday night. 7 p.m. Getting caught up from that early Saturday yes. morning. Oh man, good for yep. you, Joe. Good for yep. you. Me and yep. Joseph, yep. if you can't tell, we're related. We love to go to sleep very, very early. We are, we are yeah. early. I'm a morning person. I'm an early riser anyways. So it's going to sleep super early is like a superpower of mine. Two and Benadryl, gone. Two Benadryl, two Benadryl, gone. I Done. love Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, two Benadryl, gone. Uh -huh. But guys, let me know where you're visiting from. Let me know what you uh, had going on this weekend. Tanner and Courtney are in Palm Springs enjoying a wonderful uh, craft summit over there. So me and Joe are here all this week for you guys coming live around this time every day through the week so you all can mark your calendars and set your reminders and get ready to get crafty with us today but again guys i have to stress while tanner's gone i'm going to pop up the 20 percent off for you guys so joseph if you would like to drop that link in the comments um 20 percent off and that is for the membership and if you guys do not know what the membership is if you are not a, already a member we have a wonderful die cutting community called makersgonnalearn.com. You can head over there. Links in the description. Joseph's going to drop a link in the um, comments for you guys. It is 20% off this week. And that's just really like Tanner's gone. Let's just make it 20% off. Don't tell him about it. Just meh. But um, it's awesome. We have over 800 digital cut files for you guys if you have a die cutting machine. And not just a Cricut Maker, but if you have a Cricut Explore Air or an Explore Air 2, if you have a Brother Scan and Cut or a Silhouette Cameo, you will adore this membership. Not only do we have cut files, but for yearly members, first off, yearly members do get the best bang for their buck. You get three months free when billed annually, but they also get over 80 fonts. I don't know where all of our font pages are, but we have over 80 fonts right now and more are added every quarter for those yearly members. So we'll get more in April next month. So be looking out for that if you are a yearly member. You also get, if you're a yearly member, three commercial or uh, free commercial license and three awesome e-courses completely free of charge with that yearly uh, membership. And those are for design space for working with your maker and how to build a business with your die cutting machine. So you guys will get a ton of value with that. And all the projects we make, guys, are insane. We have an awesome Facebook group um, over there, and it's it's just a wonderful little community. So if you don't know what that is or if you have any questions, continue to ask those um, in the comments, and Joseph will be reading those off as well as he can because there's a lot going on. Joseph's got Ooh. a big job. I'm doing my best. Joseph's you know? doing his best. I'm learning. Awesome. We'll get there. Yes. We'll, we'll, Do we have we'll any comments thus far? Everyone's just saying good morning. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Joseph. Hey. Good morning, guys. Tons well, the firm, all over the place. We're the, all over yep. the place. We usually yep, get good. friends from all over the place, oh, yeah. and we love that. And we get a lot of questions. Can I get a membership if I'm in the UK or if I'm in Canada? You absolutely can. We have crafty uh, ladies and gentlemen from all across the world um, that enjoy our cut files. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I cannot wait to jump into this project because 
I don't know how long ago I made this. It was at least a month or two ago, and I am in love with how it turned out. I'll get it off this little easel for you guys, but it's just a tray. It's a Better Homes and Gardens tray. Um, from Walmart, it was like 12 bucks or something. It was already finished with this pretty wood, and it is from, this file is from our sign collection, Always Stay Humble and Kind. I absolutely love it. Let me try and get this glare out. But if you can see in the glare, we actually added a coat of beautiful resin over it. And guys, I love resin, okay? I've been making a lot of glitter tumblers and things like that. So I would now consider myself, honest to goodness, a resin pro. So making this was a breeze and it's very, very simple if you guys have never worked with resin. And the resin, it just like takes it up a notch. So this went from like a normal little vinyl project that you probably couldn't really use with the vinyl on there to a very usable project that has went up a bunch of notches in style and design when we added resin because now guys at resin you know you can put food drinks whatever you can actually serve on this and then wipe it away it's you know unlike the vinyl just sitting there it's super super durable now so that's great but joe anything so far um paxton just says that she got some trays and she's so excited to see what you do with yours oh my gosh paxton yes wow. i i cannot wait to show you guys this and these actually also have like these little uh handles in there so don't get turned off if you find some with handles and then you think that resin won't work in them they totally will resin is a great material and it really works well with you and it's pretty forgiving you know the only, the biggest thing um in my resin journey has been not making too much to where I waste a lot of it because resin is pretty expensive. It is not cheap. And especially with making um, my glitter tumblers and trying to get through that process and perfect that tutorial, um, I really had to nail down exactly how much resin you needed to use to not waste any because I hate being wasteful, especially with craft products that are so expensive like resin. So today I'll be, um, I'm literally going to eyeball the measurement for today, but for a tray like this, it does not need to be super thick. So even though it does have these little handles in it, it will look fantastic, you know, so you just need a little thin coat of resin. So it's super, super easy, but we're going to head over to design space and I'm going to show you all, um, the awesome collection that we're going to use today. It is from the sign collection. So I'll show you guys some sneak peeks of that as well. So over on the second camera, Joe, whenever you can, here we are. And of course we have this, we got to exit out the um, project from yesterday. And now we're just going to go to upload and browse files. And we're looking for our sign collection. So let's go to a uh, sign and here we go. We're going to look on the SVGs and these are named pretty clear. So even though you can't see a bunch of them, let's go over to the um, PNG so you can see a couple of them. But we have um, some uh, Fall Sweet Fall, Your Love Grows Here. We have a bunch of cool little cut files here. And I don't know why it's not previewing all of them. But we're going to go to the SVGs and look up. Um, Humble and Kind is what it should be named under. And here, 26 Humble and Kind. So we're just going to get that. And it's going to have us name it. So we're just going to name it. I'm just going to name it Humble for the sake of time. I usually like to name it, honestly, like the whole uh, quote that it says. It's just easier for me to remember it. But for the sake of this, we're just going to make it easy and just name it humble. But here it is. And of course, you guys know the most important thing to do is to size your project because you do not want to um, make it uh, too big or too small for what you're working with. So I just, um, you know, raise up the camera so you can see it more. We've got our little measuring tape that we love so much from Cricut here. And we're just going to measure this bad boy and make sure that we size this correctly. So it's 15 in, inside. It's 15 by 11. So I'm probably just going to make it like 14 by 10. 14 by 10. That looks pretty good. 14 by 10. Looks, looks like a very safe number. So we're going to put this back in so you guys can see our iPad better. And we're just gonna make sure that we remember those. And we're gonna go over here to actions, and or I'm sorry, edit, yes. And a width of 14 and a height, uh, well it's 9.6, okay. So that, that fits great, that fits fine. So did I say 14 or 13, Joe? Did I say 13 or 14? I think 14. Mm, now I'll have to measure I'm it again. Sure it's Watch 15. me, I'm pretty sure it's see 15 what I do, 11, so see hey. what I do. I make silly mistakes and Re I have to measure twice, cut once. Exactly, Joe. Here too. 
Okay, yeah, so it's 15 and I'm gonna do it 14. I don't know. I'm gonna do 13 and a half just because I don't want it to be too huge and I think it'll still look good. So let's do 13.5. And that just takes it down like 0.1 on the um on the height there. So that is something that we can definitely sacrifice. So I'm just gonna make it and it's letting us know that we need our larger mat and we already have that. So just say okay there. And this is not iron on, so no need to mirror that. So we're just gonna hit continue. And I've already got this uh, vinyl loaded onto our uh, mat here. This is our 12 by 24 mat. And guys, I, I'm loving this vinyl color. This color is a pebble and it's not white, but it's not quite a cream. I, I don't know what color it is, guys. Well, it's called pebble, but it's a really, really pretty color. Let me get up close so you guys can see this if it'll. Oh, yeah. Is that in there, boy? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Right, looky there, Joe. It's in there. But pebble, it's a really pretty color from Cricut if you. Um, are looking for some more kind of neutralish colors that look good with like the farmhouse vibe. So we're gonna uh, select iron on, and I'm just gonna leave default pressure. I mean, we do have a pretty new blade installed here, so I'm just gonna leave it default probably for just like another week or two um, because I don't want to, you know, jump the gun there and then start having some uh, mistakes with their projects because I did not turn um, more pressure on, but. Now we're just going to head over to our mat and um, load it in and then load it in with Cricut. So we already have loaded on our awesome uh, vinyl onto our mat, thank goodness, because that would have taken me a while on camera. So here it is, and we just did it, um, I did it down to the uh, like 15 inch mark just to give me some extra, so that's totally fine. So we're just going to load this bad boy in, this big old mat. Joseph, do we have any questions so far? Um, Gina wants to know how often do you change your maker blade? That is a great question. Well, we actually have two awesome videos coming out very soon that Tanner has made, and they are when to change your blade and like the signs that you know you need to change your blade. So like when and then how. So we have a when video that shows you a bunch of awesome signs and tips to like make note of that are like, okay, well now it's time to change my blade, so I probably need to do that. And then uh, how to change your blade because some people are a little confused about how you can change these some people think you have to replace this entire housing and everything like that but that is not the case but really guys a rule of thumb is to change your blade about every two months of course it depends on how you craft and how much you use your blade and what you're cutting but <clears throat> excuse me for the rule of thumb two months is about where you need to go so i am going to turn fast mode on i'm not the biggest ambassador for fast mode but tanner loves it and for this project i think it will be fine so turning fast mode on pressing that flashing cricket button letting her cut so as she's cutting again guys 20 percent off the membership is uh, joseph can drop that link whenever he can and it's also the first link in the description below and it's it's awesome guys and if you're a monthly or a six monthly and you want to upgrade feel free to do that as well and you will get grandfathered in with this 20 percent off if you do upgrade um, or if you get a membership period but uh, if you do want to do that go ahead and email us at the contact us page on your um, dashboard or you can email us at hi 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 at makersgonnalearn.com that's great too so I'm going to show you guys how to get that link though. So Joseph, if we can switch camera angles, I will show you guys how to get that. So here we are on YouTube. Let me go to my channel here and find us. Here we are guys. So I hope that the sound is not on. It is muted. Yay. Okay. So Joseph J or Tanner, you know how we do. <laughs> Tanner just dropped this link. But if you want to do it this way, uh, you can see here. It doesn't look like there's anything in the description. Well, to get to the description, you have to press this little arrow right here, and it pops up the description for us. So here around our little confetti, it says, Join Makers Gonna Learn for 20% off, and I need to change that 700 to 800 because we are now topping off at over 800 cut files. But you're just gonna press this link here and open that up, and I will just show you guys around this awesome um, site here. 
And this is the uh, very special link here. All, you can only get that link uh, in the description below or in the comments. It shows you all the member benefits that you get. It lays out uh, all the yearly options and everything. But if you already know you want to be a yearly member and you've got to that link, guys, go over here and just press that blue button. It will give you guys the, uh, the best offer. And I think our crickets mad at us. So let's go back over here for a second. Hit quick cutting for a, for a minute. Let's see if it'll continue. There we go. See, I just, I just made it mad. It's okay. It just had to think for a minute. Uh, but this, it's, it's a great site if you know you just want to get the yearly membership, get the best bang for your buck, go ahead and hit that blue button. And if you guys want to see our awesome new site, Joseph, if you can, go ahead and drop that a third link in here and you guys can see this awesome page. This is our brand new sign up page for our new site that is launching super, super soon. And I will show you guys around it and I hope that you all enjoy it as much as we do. We've had a blast making this and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. So here it really um, is telling you all how much the yearly membership is our best value and I love that about it. I have made our cricket mat again, so we got, <laughs> we got to switch and give it a minute. While you're there, Sandra wants to know if you purchase a yearly membership from Canada, do you have to convert Canadian money into American money? Uh, yes, you do, but it is super, super easy. You actually do not have to worry about it because it is PayPal is how you uh, pay us. You pay us through PayPal. So uh, PayPal actually does all the work. It will move uh, your uh money into usd for you it um it so it's nothing you have to do it's not a single problem with you guys so you you do have to convert that but it's nothing you have to worry about and we do have a bunch of canadian and uk friends uh with us that have the membership and they all love it too so don't let that sway you because again it is easy and nothing that you have to worry yourself with so just for the sake of not wanting to make her creak it bad again, I'm going to leave it on this page just until it's done cutting. And then I'm going to show you guys around that brand new page because I'm so excited about it. Go hit the link that Joseph just dropped in the comments if you want to see it for yourself. But I'm so excited about it, guys. It's gorgeous. And it actually will give uh, members who are looking around a free cut file to try out and to see if they like. Now, Joseph, don't you like to try before you buy? Of course, always. Of course, always. Why spend money if you... If without knowing what you're gonna get. You know? See, Joe knows. Try it out. Try it out. Love it. Done. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I really love that we offer that too. You know, free cut file. And guys, I gotta tell you, the cut file is one of my all time favorite cut files that we're giving you for free from the Makers Collection. Super pumped about it. I love that all you guys can try that out if you're not already a member, or maybe you're on the fence about it, because I like to try before I buy too, you know, who doesn't? And with this new site, we're really showing you guys a lot of awesome uh, cut files and a lot of project inspiration before you even buy it, which I feel like we didn't do uh, as well on, on the other page. So you can really get an idea of the projects you can make and the things that you can uh, do with this membership on this new page, and I'm pumped for that. But we're almost done cutting. We're close. Patricia says, is resin the same as epoxy? Uh, I'll get it out. Is resin, is resin the, same the same as, as epoxy? epoxy? Yeah. Um, and, can, and can it be used on tumblers? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. I have used, I think they're basically the same thing. Watch a nice gentleman who knows his way in and out of this stuff comment and say otherwise. <laughs> and if so, I do apologize. But to my knowledge, resin and epoxy are like two different names for basically the same thing. I, I know that resin has like a part A and a part B and you mix them together and pour it. I think epoxy, some epoxy are the same or some is like a one step wonder. It really just depends on which you buy, I think. But I've always used resin and um, my favorite brand of resin, I'll actually go and get it right now. <laughs> it's right here. And this is the same brand, it's just um, bigger. But Joe, if you'll switch this to the other camera and I can show them uh, this brand. But this is the amazing ClearCast, a two-part clear coating and casting resin. It's high gloss. And again, the one we're using today is the same thing. It's just uh, bigger. These bottles here are pretty small. So as you can see, um, these are a lot smaller than the ones we have or the ones that we're using today. So that is um, the brand we like. I think that resin and epoxy are the same thing though. Uh, great question. Oh, that is a really good question. Uh, but here is the new site. We, our, our cricket's done now, so we're not making it mad. But I love that you can see some of these designs here that you could not see um, in the other site. You get awesome testimonials. You can see some really cool YouTube videos. Again, the monthly, uh, six monthly and yearly options are laid out, uh, noting that you do get the three months free 
with the yearly option. New fonts available exclusively to yearly members. Here are some awesome project inspiration for you guys to really see what you can create when you get this membership. And what's included, our member only benefits included at every level. I love that it lays all this out here with the new files, the exclusive Facebook group and the project tutorials and things like that. And guys, our printable guide, People adore our printable guide. Now we got ours bound and laminated and any tier gets this printable guide. Guys, we have had people, and I, I'm guaranteed we'll get at least one in this uh, video today, that is wanting to outright buy this because it is like having expert crafters in your back pocket. It's 20 pages filled with awesome stuff you need with your die cutting machine. From terminology to lay, you know, to lay out exactly what all of these uh, kind of complicated words and phrases mean, it really defines them super, super well. We have a ton of terminology, a blade chart that tells you exactly what all your blades can cut, which is super handy whenever you're trying to, you know, get craftier or maybe get out of the box that you're stuck in and you want to see uh, what all your uh, cricket can do and what all your blades can do, so you can really uh, craft um, as well as your machine will let you. And the blade charts are just awesome for that. And we've got every blade here that the Cricut um, and the Cricut Maker can have here. The cutting mats, which is awesome. Standard, light, fabric grip, and strong grip. It tells you what materials you can cut with which mat, which is super duper handy. We have a bunch of pages of easy press temperature charts, guys, for uh, what you are ironing on, the type of iron on you're using, and stuff like that. You all need this so, so bad. Me and Tanner are still in this every day looking at and seeing where we can, um, or what to heat our easy press to. We have awesome cheat sheets for adhesive vinyl, iron on, print and cut, things like that, that just preparation, printing and cutting, and uh, cutting application. I mean, it just lays out everything so that you can have a successful project. And then back here we have more terminology like, what is a warm peel? Uh, how do you ungroup? What is ungroup? What exactly is a zip file? Things like that to really just make your crafting um, better and more more precise and make you a better crafter and that's what we're here to do. So all of our tiers do get that which is amazing. If you sign up you can download it now. You do get instant access to all of this guys whenever um, you do or you get access to what your tier is whether you are you know a monthly, six monthly or yearly. Yearly of course is the best value. Um, it, we hold nothing back from our yearly members. Um, they get every resource we possibly have to give and our monthly and six monthly uh, do get some perks here, but our yearly is just, it knocks it out of the park when we come to uh, value and what you get. Uh, here are the three free classes for year members, which is the Cricut Maker Design Space eCourse, breaking down design space and how to build a business through your die cutting machine. You can see the value of all of these. And guys, all of these combined is more than what your Cricut membership, what, more than you paid for your membership itself which is just insane. And here I love that it really breaks down uh, what uh, you get with each level, all the way from the die cutting library. library. <laughs> I'll get it close out. Close enough. Yeah, You're close like enough. You're like me a epoxy. <laughs> um, yeah, <epoxy>. Library. <laughs> and it lays out everything from the digital cutting uh, die cutting library to uh, fonts and the e-courses that you get. And you just really see everything clear and concise and laid out here, and I love that. And then right here, guys, is the awesome link that you can click to try before you buy. This is one of my favorite uh, cut files ever. This is my laptop right now. I love my laptop. Uh, the Maker's Collection is one of my favorites, so you do get that free cut file. All you have to do is give us your email and your name, and we do not sell your email. We are not that kind of company. So we just, um, we wanna send you more freebies and more awesome stuff happening uh, in the, um, happening in the membership. So, Joe, what do we got going on? I was talking for quite some time. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, nothing much. We have more people still tuning in saying, hey. Well, good. Are able to come live? So. Good. I'm glad all you guys are able to get crafty this Monday uh, morning. And me and Joe will be going live around the same time uh, all throughout the week, um, around 11 to 11.30. So stay tuned for that. But uh, now, guys, what we're going to do, I don't think I have a ton of excess vinyl here, but I'm going to get this awesome craft knife that I preach about all the time. And I am going to, if I can see it, cut around this so that we are not uh, wasting any vinyl because you guys know how precious vinyl is. Vinyl is super precious. It does not grow on trees. Does it, Joe? Not at all. No, it does not it, grow on trees. It'd be nice if it would, though. Well, that would be nice. It would be it? nice. It'd be a lot cheaper, too. And do not forget, guys, to keep pestering Joseph. 
because he is going to come on camera one day this week. And don't don't you let him forget it either, because I won't. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, you want to. You know it, Joe. <laughs> you want to. No oh, we're just peeling this up. Look at all this. Great for the scrap bin. Throwing it right into the scrap bin. Going to love that. Well, really, it's in the floor right now. I swear I'll go get it, though. Put that in the scrap bin. But we're also going to burnish down. This was uh, one of my handy-dandy tips before you, um, before you weed. Burnish it down, guys. Burnish it. Burnish it to death. It just helps a lot, especially because I didn't put it on more pressure. So you're going to want to burnish it. And Joe, if you want to switch to the other camera angle, these guys can watch me weed this, hopefully very easily. We will see. I hope it's easy to weed. <laughs> just keep burnishing, guys. When you feel like you've burnished enough, just burnish some more. So now that we've got that, we're going to take our favorite Cricut scraper tool. Woo, our camera. Woo. And we're just going to start weeding. Fingers crossed that this goes well. Oh, no. It's going terribly already. <laughs> Should have done more pressure. At least I know now it is time for more pressure. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's never easy, is it? It's never, never easy, easy, no. Never, or never, never easy. as simple as you make it out to be. Exactly. Okay. Oh, such a big map, too, to work with. And Tanner loves to cut some stuff off when he's done working with it. So that is what I'm going to do. I hope I'm not cutting off anything very important. You know, like, that would be, that would totally be me cutting off something important. Okay, where'd my weeding tool go? I've lost it. Oh, I found it. Okay, here we go. But guys, let us know again in the comments, you know, what's going on with your crafty day, how you had, uh, let us know if you had a good weekend. Um, this is a very pretty color. I love weeding this color. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not wanting to, we're going to power through. We're going to power through Slowly this. but surely. Slowly but surely. Determination. Determination. <laughs> Tanner has came back from so many projects that I was like, Tanner, I would have given up on that so long ago. And he just doesn't. He just doesn't give up on these types of projects that I totally would have given up on. Uh, and you guys are motivating. You all help us out a lot. Help us feel like we shouldn't give up on them. Even though some people may want to. Just slowly but surely. I really feel like I'm going to take off something important. So I'm just going really slow about it. And Joe, let me know if I ever get out of frame. Because yeah. I'm super bad about that. I love getting out of frame. Man, I hard to zoom out a little bit since you're just working yeah, on such a big project. Sure, sure. There we go. Good eye, Joe. I'll just... Oh, Lord, I'm taking something with me. This is important. <laughs> Got sidetracked. Can't be taking that out. Oh, look, now it's time to cut. It's time to cut all this stuff off. Okay. See, guys, this is good. We're totally doing fine, guys. We're doing great. Oh, yeah. Do you have any comments, any random comments that you want to shout out? Is there any first timers watching, guys? Let us know if you have never tuned into a, a live stream or one of our live streams before. Joseph would love to shout you out. Oh, yeah. Today is Kathy's birthday, so there's that. Kathy, happy birthday. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I cannot believe you chose to take time out of your amazing birthday to get crafty with us. What is happening down here? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Joe. What'd you do? It didn't finish cutting. Didn't cut all of it. <gasps> you made it mad. Did I make it that mad? You made it mad. Oh my goodness. Let me see if the people can see this. I am blown away. I'm going to have to recut this. This is, this is awful. Okay. Let me see if they can see this. I'm going to zoom in. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can. Wow. That's really zoomed in. <laughs> but it didn't cut. I don't think I can, I don't think it, it'll, it'll show. It like didn't cut half of our letters here. It like just didn't cut it. That's so sad. Oh no. Okay, so like what in the world? So, oh, oh wow. <laughs> it just didn't, didn't even cut. Okay, so really all I have to uh, cut out is the word kind, which I mean is a lot easier to do than the whole thing. So. Let me show you what we're going to do for that. 
We're gonna do a little a little magic here. Oh, I don't want to show you yep, all the password. Yep, that's, yep. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> we can't do be doing that uh, here. I think I did that though. No joke, guys. I'm pretty sure that I did that on like on a video for you all. <laughs> I just like could just enter this password like as clear as this screen right here. God love his heart. So here's what we're gonna do. If that ever happens to you guys, which you know, no one's perfect. I clearly should not have spent that time on another page, so I will know that for next time. But do not touch how you sized it, leave it exactly how it is. All we're gonna do is go over here to actions and we're gonna hide contour. And since everything is fine except for the word kind, we're just gonna contour everything out except for that word. So that way we don't have to waste any more vinyl than we, um, oh goodness gracious, any more vinyl than we have to. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna um, try and just keep trucking with with that little kind of we're going to try and uh, look at the finished one and we're going to place it as close as we can to where it should have been so right here now we see all we have is the word kind because always stay humble and well hmm, good <laughs> always stay humble and kind we will get there so let me get that awesome oh let me go grab the vinyl that'd be a good thing to grab too good thing we have plenty of this but this is a pretty color though and let's see how big it's wanting to make it for us guys so it looks like it's going to be about four by seven is what we need. So I'm going to take this guy here. And this is the other side of our mat. This right here is where we were waiting. Here's the complete other side of our mat. So I'm just going to take this and lay it right here. That looks great. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's it's never a dull day here, guys. It's never, it's never boring. That is for sure, never boring. And now, since it is the bottom of my mat, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna like eyeball where the four inch mark is here. Goodness, guys, this is this is how it goes. But that's okay. At least we we fixed it. We were able to fix it. Okay. So now I'm just gonna go through here and uh, press continue, um, and I'm gonna cut it on the same setting. Um, and I'm going to be sure not to turn my iPad on a different um, <laughs> screen. It like didn't cut the last, like the bottom half of the last word. It was super, super odd. So we're just going to cut it. Default pressure again, just like we did. I'm just going to load in the back of the mat. We could have been weeding this while this was cutting, but you know what? It's, it's not going to take very long to cut. And, ooh, fast mode would be good, wouldn't it? Fast mode. And you know what, guys? I should blame fast mode. I should blame that it's because yep. we turned on fast yep. mode. One, Can I do that, Joe? Would you one, blame one me? One viewer said hers does it, too, when she puts it on fast mode. So. Really? Yep. So See? There you go. See, guys? Tanner loves fast mode, but I do not. And I think that after this, don't know why I turned it on this time, that I'm not using fast mode no more. It is just not worth it. This stuff is not cheap. You know? Not cheap. I can't be wasting stuff. And I'm actually going to go head over to our scrap bin of our uh, transfer tape and see if I can find one big enough to fit that one word to where we can position it uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go see if we have a good piece for that, which I think we do. This one, oh, this one's not going to fit. I'm going to have to cut one. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's fine. This is, this is good. It's almost done. It's looking like it's finally cutting the bottom of it, which is great. <laughs> it says action complete. I'm going to unload it. Looks like a full word to me, which is great. That's what we want to see. So, okay, Joe, let's switch it back to that other camera. I've got a few questions if you want to answer some questions. I'm ready. If, let's if do you're it. ready for some questions, that's it. a good time. Let's do it. It's a great time. Um, Belinda says she, she said she loves that when you uh, do make a mistake, uh, you show us how to recover from them. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm yeah. so glad. Yeah. So glad. I have done that several times. And, guys, you guys are going to think I'm an absolute nutcase. So this one time uh, we were making a project. It was actually on a live stream and Tanner accidentally, of course, no one's perfect here. Tanner accidentally chopped off like the end, like the, just the bottom half of like a G, a pretty cursive G. And it was kind of pretty noticeable. So after the live was over, we always love to take beautiful pictures of the projects we make. I really wanted to finish that off. So I went into design space guys 
and used that slice method that Tanner showed us and I sliced out everything but the lower half of the G just cut it and was able to place it in vinyl right where it was and you couldn't even tell so really it's just about getting creative in design space to, to fix what you uh what you may have made a little mistake on or a little boo-boo because it'd be a shame if you all thought you had to throw everything away for a little mistake like that but joe what are the other questions um, keep them coming candace says is the membership good for the explorer air 2 because i'm new and i have my explorer air 2 coming in the mail trying to get some education and that's what's your name Candace. Candace. Oh my gosh, Candace. Yes, it's amazing for beginners, especially, especially with the Cricut printable guide. It is 100% designed for beginner success and especially um, for beginners. But if you are an experienced crafter uh, like me and Tanner are, we still use this every day uh, for some terminology and for the heat press settings, definitely. And the cheat sheets are amazing for uh, print the cut iron on and vinyl. So yes, Candace, you will love the membership. It's 100% compatible with your uh, Explore Air 2. Um, the only thing you won't be able to do with that is maybe we might have 10 cut files in the whole uh, library of over 800 that maybe are used, uh, that you can use with your cr uh, Cricut uh, knife blade. But you obviously can, uh, you know, make that to where you can use it with your Cricut. But you will absolutely love the membership. If you would love to use fonts and you want a free commercial license, Candace, get that yearly membership because that way you will get not only the fonts and the free commercial license, but three uh, e-courses that uh, teach you all about your Cricut and design space and how to build a business with your die cutting machine, which means along with that e-course, you could actually sell the projects you make uh, with that free commercial license that you get with the yearly membership. So you could take this right here, put it on the Facebook yard sale and sell it for 40 bucks and make profit from it. So that is amazing. You will absolutely love the membership, Candice. It's great for beginners. Uh, Joe, anything else? Uh, Barbara says she could not find a fast mode. Do you care to show her where it's at? Okay, I'll, I actually cannot show you right now. You have to be uh, going mm. through a project, but in Design Space, it will be right after you select your material and right uh, after you load in your mat. So you have to have your mat loaded and then it will pop up step three. It'll pop up there and that is when you should just go ahead and press that flashing Cricut button. But right after you load in your mat, if you will uh, turn your attention to your device, you will see that it has popped up a little fast mode that you are able to click if you'd like. But after today, I'm honestly don't know if I will ever use fast mode again because I am pissed. <laughs> but hey, you know, I can't blame the cricket or myself or, you know, it, it could just be user error. Sometimes it is user error. Uh, so, but fast mode is great for certain projects. Definitely, it definitely has its um, has its moments. But uh, yeah, so it's right before you uh, press fl your flashing cricket button, right after you load in your map. Sorry, Joe. You're good. Taryn just popped in. He, he he just missed the fast mode filling on you. He did what? Well, he did. He just missed Tanner, it. He just missed you've it. You've missed it. Fast mode failed us yet again. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't think it was me. It was fast <laughs> mode, and it probably wasn't fast mode. Because for real, Tanner, I was on the iPad and I flipped to a different uh, tab. I was showing them the awesome new uh, dashboard, or not dashboard, the awesome new sign-up page for the site, for the new site launching. And the Cricut kept getting mad at me. So I kept having to go over to the other page. But anyways, it just didn't even cut a whole word for us. So we had to cut that. But it's okay because I taught them how to fix it if they ever do it. So at least we're telling them how to fix their issues if they have any. So that's good. More so, tips and tricks, yes me. More tips and tricks. There see, you go. It, it's there like we're go. just pouring extra into you guys today because of our little crafty fails. But anyways, this is about four inches high, so I'm just gonna eyeball, probably shouldn't be eyeballing at this point, especially because transfer tape does not grow on trees, but here I go, probably making an, yet another mistake today eyeball on this and let's see oh looks like i didn't make that big of a mistake today now i'm just going to cut this off where it'll fit good this goes back into our transfer paper bin okay this is a great piece for a ton of projects i'm gonna fill in the floor with the other one but i'll pick those up later <laughs> promise tanner said fast mode is having a week off while he's not here fast mode's <laughs> having a week off listen guys i'm not go. doing it again <laughs> I'm not doing it. It was probably, I mean, I don't know what I could blame blame on. I'm, I'm going to blame fast mode, though. Good mode, flash mode, fast mode. Flash mode. If I could talk today, 
So I'm going to talk about it. Joe, if you want to get in on this action, I can get in on this action. So we're going to talk about our transfer tape. We love tacoing this. And I'm sure that Tanner would have some kind of really super smart uh, answer, or he's probably wondering why I'm doing this one separately. And I probably should just do them. Uh, I should probably should like put this big one on the tray and then put this one on the tray. But for real guys, this is just the first thing that my mom told me to do. So I'm totally just going to do it. I'm literally going to use this transfer tape just to put this where it should have went and then use another piece of transfer paper uh, to put it in the tray. So you might be thinking like, Rachel, that, that's pretty backwards, but hey, you know. Oh, now looky there. Okie dokie. We can work with this. Just going to peel this up from our mat. Ugh, strong mat. And we're going to place it here where it should go. Now, this is probably a good tip too. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to the canvas and I'm going to press this undo button like a billion times. Here we go. Okay, now we see where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to blow this up a little. So it's so the K is like tucked under here. So that's a great little thing to see. So we're just going to tuck that K under here. Oh my heavens. Tuck that K and let's see. So that, that does... Okay, okay. Let me see. Let's see this. It looks good. Looky there, Joe. How are we feeling? Looks good to me. So that's looks tucked there. Me. That's tucked there. Okay, guys. We're rocking and rolling. Sweet. Okay, awesome. So I want to get my scraper tool. It's probably hidden under this huge mat. It is. I'm just going to put that there and then take a little corner here. Oh, my goodness. That's not working, is it? Huh. Take a little corner here. Give this a little more love, clearly. <laughs> A little more burnishing love. <laughs> Just gonna peel this up. Come on now. Come on now. Belinda said, Rachel, you're gonna make me laugh out loud today. Thanks. I needed this. Belinda, you're welcome. Oh my heavens. Look what I've done. Oh my gosh. We're gonna roll with it, guys. We're <laughs> we're rolling with it. We've still got this awesome resin trick to show you all, which I'm super excited about. Joseph's like, Rachel, why are you playing with fire today? Why is there a lighter on the table? <laughs> Mind your own business, Joseph. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we got this. We got this. This is probably way harder than it needs to be. Tanner's probably like shaking his head right now by the pool like, Rachel, what are you doing? This is not the easiest way to do this. Sorry, Tanner. <laughs> it's where my mind goes. But I, for real though, guys, I do love it when... Um, so, because some people like make uh, these projects and then Tanner will make them during the live and sometimes he makes them and I make them and Courtney makes them. I mean, we, it's all hands on deck with these live projects. And um, I love seeing like the difference between how I made it, you know, the finished project and then how Tanner gets to the finished project because it's just amazing to see how we're uh, different, like creative, or just creativity is different, I guess I should say. And it's really cool to see how Tanner, with like almost 10 years of cricket experience, um, makes a project versus me, like that just started when I started working here using a cricket. So it's just awesome to see that and the differences between like the way we work and how we how we use the skills that we have. Because I'm sure he has a lot of tips uh, to make this a lot easier on um, maybe some newbies, um, whereas I might confuse some people with some things that I do. But, you know, that's okay. It's just we're all crafters here. We're all different. And I really like that um, we can show that here because that's always a cool thing to see. But we're just getting closer and closer, guys, to getting this thing done. And then we can uh, finish weeding inside our little letters here and then add a large piece of transfer tape and then be done. Everyone's saying just put the bigger piece of transfer tape over all that and then lay it on there. Well, I would have to do this either way and it would just be like two pieces of transfer tape. I did think of that guys. I just thought I'd be making more work on myself uh, when it was in here and I don't really want to do that because in here is when it will be harder to pull up anyways. And you guys might be thinking, um, are you going to put alcohol on that? And if you guys could feel it right now, you'd be like, well, maybe it doesn't need alcohol, maybe it does. And in those cases, usually I just go ahead and put alcohol on it, you know, better safe than sorry in that uh, sense of the way. So yes, I'm going to put alcohol on it and try and get that, um, try and get that to be as um, sticky as I can uh, for our transfer tape. So, oh gosh. 
I'm just gonna weed in here. Oh my gosh, look what I've done to my weeding tool. Look, can you guys see what I've done to my weeding tool? Joseph, is Tanner texting you making fun of me? Because I think that's mean. <laughs> He's not making fun. He's not he better fun. not be making fun of me, Tanner. Okay. Things happen, Tanner. Things happen. He just wants us to know how great his membership is. How what? Awesome his membership is. Oh, yes. Again, guys, 20% off today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. For a while, while Tanner's gone, membership is 20% off. I've showed you guys that awesome page of um, the you can go there Joseph if you want to go ahead and pop the 20% off link again in the description as well as the link to the uh, new site that they can check out go do that guys again if you want to join you guys can join if you want to upgrade you guys can upgrade if you are a uh, monthly or a six monthly go ahead and take advantage of that you do get grandfathered in to that 20% off uh, sale there so even through the years as the um, as the price may change or switch or may not change or whatever maybe there's not a 20% off sale when you uh, when you switch you know when your year uh, renews but you do get grandfathered in about 20% off which is great okay let's zoom out a little bit here we're gonna get a big piece of transfer tape to fit this whole guy here Tanya says she appreciates your determination Oh, thank you, Tanya. I can't let you guys down. I can't do it. You know, I got to be here for you all. I got to, I got to power through. I would have given up on this thing, given up on this thing like 20 minutes ago, but I can't do that with you all. I got to, I got to power through. That's why I'm powering through. This is super sticky now. Joseph, is there anything you want to say? Take it away for a minute. I am <laughs> I'm in a tizzy over here. I don't know what you want me to say. Hey, we're, we're getting through this, though. You know, that's all that matters. You we're know get, what? We're, we're almost we're close. We're, getting we're through really this. close. We're, we're about to start getting it <laughs> onto our tray yeah. eventually. I don't know how long it's already been, but I don't want to ask Joseph because I'm scared that we've spent 45 minutes cutting this and, and weeding it. But hey, that's o not what it's only about. Only 47, but it's okay. That's not what it's about, okay? <laughs> That's not what it's about. Only 47. We're doing it's good. It's about the finished project and how we got there. We're doing good. So, we're doing good. That's what Joseph says. As long as it looks straight in the end, that's all that matters. You know what? That's true. That's true. So I'm just going to peel off this transfer tape. I'm going to taco it as best as I can. Taco that baby. i lay it in the middle. Okay. Sweet. Take our burnishing tool. Burnish the living crap out of it, guys. When you think you're done burnishing, burnish some more. Good tip. Keep a burnishing, guys. Joseph, is anyone saying anything? Uh -huh. Judy says, Rachel, take a deep breath. You're doing great. Oh, <laughs> thank you. A lot going yeah. on. We got this though, guys. So also what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the uh, transfer uh, tape as close to the letters as I possibly can. And what this is going to help me do is since this tray, of course, has some ridges and things like that, I really want to get, uh, I don't want any transfer tape in our way or anything like that. So I'm going to do my best to get that um, right in the middle there. So it just helps to kind of peel that up a little bit. So we're going to very carefully Pull this up off of our mat before we lay it down on the table and burnish it from the back. It's a great, um, this is a great project to burnish on the back definitely because you, you want this to stick. And then we are going to uh, clean off our tray. Now it probably doesn't need to be like clean, cleaned of course. We're just going to wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol like you see us do often on live streams. Um, just so it might stick a little better and if you felt of it you might not think it needs it but just to get maybe some dust or dirt that um, we can wipe out we're just going to go ahead and do that so <sighs> scoot this over and here's our tray and it, it's, it's not very dusty or anything like that so we're going to take our little 
a little bottle here that we have our alcohol in that you all adore. And we're going to whoop, give it a few pumps, wipe it in here. I'll show you guys here. I'm just wiping it around in the crevices. And it, it dries fairly quickly as it is, you know, alcohol. So we're just going to let that dry. And okay. So guys, the membership, 20% off. Joseph, switch me camera angles. And while this dries, I'm going to show you all how you can become a member for 20% off. Uh, so here is a little iPad. Let me get y'all in here. Great. So uh, you're over here um, on the YouTube. You're watching on the YouTube. Oh, good grief. <laughs> on YouTube, you're watching and we're here. Um, if you want to uh, get the membership for 20% off or you want to upgrade, uh, whichever one you'd like to do, we just press uh, this little arrow here and open up that description. And you can click that link, in the first link down below in the description. 33%. I need to plug this thing up after we're done, Joe. <laughs> and you can come here and pick your tier. Um, again, yearly members get the best, uh, best benefit. We hold nothing back from yearly members. They get our fonts. They get the free commercial license. They get um, awesome e-courses and great stuff like that. So if you want that, you already know you want to get your membership, you can either press this button or you can press either of these buttons off any three of those. So let's just press this button and it will take you over to where, whoa, oh, oh, goodness oh, gracious. Okay. Still it will good, take you over, there. yeah. It will take you over here to where you can pay. You can pay with a PayPal account and we do love PayPal, it is super secure. And for our friends from Canada or the UK wondering, you can absolutely go over here and a PayPal will transfer your money into US dollars easily. Or if you have a credit or debit card, you can go over here and subscribe and open that up and go ahead and pay. And once you do, you will be, um, you will be taken to your digital dashboard after you get an email. And it is um, instant access, guys, so you do get instant access. So this will be what your digital dashboard will look like for now. We do have a new site launching soon. But for now, this is what it looks like. You can see all of the cut files here, all the fonts, the Fall Virtual Summit stuff right here. And these are all the awesome e-courses you get if you are a yearly member. You get the collections PDF where you can view all the collections without having to download them all. Same with the fonts right here. Right here is our awesome printable guide that we talk about that you guys um, are going to enjoy so much. It, it's like me and Tanner in your back pocket, he likes to say. 20 full pages of awesome stuff here. So you can get that. Um, we have another awesome guide here and then which vinyl should you use guide and then you also get the link to the exclusive Facebook group where you answer three little questions um, and then you get joined into that and you can get um, you can get access to all that crafty fun. So our tray has now dried. It's dried pretty pretty well so I'm going to widen this out here so you guys can see the whole thing. So here is our uh, weeded uh, design here so we're just going to take a corner peel it up and it's peeling well. Good thing it's not on that angle there, Joe. Good timing. Yeah, good, good timing. timing. Our, uh, our other camera clocks yeah. out at like 30 minutes <laughs> and it just like goes black. I know when we first started with this new setup, it's happened uh, quite a few times. Um, and it's, it's good that we were on this camera when it timed out. There we go, that came off beautifully. So here it is guys, we're just gonna take our time uh, really position this exactly where we want it. Let me see here. Okay. Belinda wants to know where you got that awesome pump dispenser for your alcohol. At. The the pump for the alcohol? It's from uh, the Dollar Store. Is that Linda? Did you say? Belinda. Belinda. It's from the Dollar Tree. You can get this. It has a bunch of different colors. It's actually for a nail polish remover, and it's it's a super handy little thing. We were just there one day gathering some awesome stuff for a, a video that we were doing and we saw it and I was like this would be insane for um, alcohol it would really help a lot so this looks pretty in the middle to me if I hold it good spacing here and here good spacing here I think we're pretty darn good to go so I'm gonna take the air burnishing tool I'm gonna burnish the heck out of it like I like to tell you all just burnish and of course with the membership we get a lot of questions on the difference between Cricut Access and this membership. Now, um, of course, you can have both. 
you know, they're both great. But if you really want to know the difference, it's that, you know, we don't just give you all cut files. We give you all training videos and uh, awesome e-courses and the commercial license and we give you all some fonts and the Facebook group to be able to, you know, just have a wonderful community. We just really, really want you guys to uh, be successful and we want to set you all up for success. So we have given you all the cut files and a ton of trainings and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, we come on here live every day and we get crafty with you all. We just, we just really enjoy the community of it all. And Modern Terror's mission here is to get you all to craft. You know, we want you all to say, okay, I'm going to spend some time doing some things for me and I'm going to craft, you know, I'm going to take, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to have some me time. And we know that if you have purchased a die cutting machine, that that is an investment, you know, and it's not a small investment. And we want to invest in you guys because you guys have invested in your die cutting machine. So we give you all, all the tips, all the tricks that we can for you all to be successful with your die cutting machine. So, you know, if you just are thinking about joining, go click that link down below in the description uh, for that 20% off, go join, and you guys will absolutely love it. Again, your members do get everything we have to offer. We don't hold anything back from our yearly members. So go get that membership if you guys would like to, if you feel so inclined. But this is going great, guys, you know. Burnishing the heck out of it, quote unquote, really does help. So that's just what we're doing today. Uh, and I see a little bitty spot where we did not weed right in here. And good thing this is vinyl, and vinyl is super forgiving. So, gonna use gonna use their little tool to get that out. Joe, do we have any questions, any comments, anything like that? Not really. We're all envying Tanner for getting his iced coffee from Starbucks and joining the ATO conference. Oh, good for you, Tanner. Okay, I'm going to get this little Cricut tool here and weed this little, oh, not this Cricut tool, that Cricut tool is busted. <laughs> I'm going to get this other Cricut tool here. We have had a, a few me more members join in. Would you like, go, hmm, what kind of vinyl are you using? What color? What kind? what kind of vinyl I'm using? What color? All great questions. Let me get it for you. So this is Cricut vinyl. It is everyday vinyl. It's just normal vinyl. It's not any kind of special type. And this, the name of the color is Pebble. So let me, let me get up here and see if that, Joe, is that? There you go. Is that, okay, yeah. great. Pebble, as you can see here. And um, pretty color. We have a bunch of rolls of this, so we love this color here. So we're, that's what we're using today is Pebble. we got to love Pebble. So now that this is on here, we have to move on to our resin. And the resin is a very fun part. I love using resin. So all you're going to need for resin is a, uh, you're gonna need your resin, and again, we love this amazing brand. So we're, we have a part A and a part B, and then you're also gonna need a lighter. You're gonna need two solo cups or two plastic cups, disposable cups, whatever, as long as it's disposable, and two little wooden sticks is what I like to use to mix it. So we're gonna eyeball these for sure, and I'm not gonna open this cap, it's kinda of weird. I'm just gonna open the big cap, and I'm gonna pour it into my cup here. I'm going to eyeball it pretty much. And they have to be perfectly even. That's uh, one, one thing to note. They have to be even. You don't want one, uh, you don't want more of one than the other. So, okay, that looks good. That looks good. I'm going to stop as <laughs> stop when I can. And I love working with resin. It's not hard to work with resin, and you can get it at your local craft store or anything like that. That is not enough. I have just picked it up and definitively decided. So I'm just going to put more in here. And um, I forget where we've gotten these big ones, but you can get these smaller ones um, at the craft store. I, I think you can find these big ones uh, sometimes too. Um, these are great as well, especially if you're using a lot of it. And it does stay good after you open it, uh, just not after you mix it. After you mix part A and your part B, then um, it's kind of, it's like drying, you know, so you, you're going to have to waste that if you've mixed it and you have some uh, excess that you can't really use, which is sad. Um, so I'm just going to be very careful. Into... Where, where'd we buy that at? 
Uh, again, a uh, craft store. You know, I think we bought the smaller, smaller ones at Hobby Lobby. I don't think we can find these huge ones at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not really sure where we got these big ones, but if you're just starting out or you just want to make like a project just like this, just go ahead and get you the small ones. Um, they're not cheap, again, like I said, but uh, for the results you get, they're totally worth it. Um, so I'm just going to put these caps on. Make sure you tighten these caps here. You know, you don't want any of this going bad on you. And then, the, so the key here is to mix these, like mix, mix, mix. So you're going to want to mix these separately for a good long while. Um, I would say at least a minute separately and then three minutes together. Uh, so doing this, it's pretty, pretty easy. I don't have any complaints. I really like working with resin. Uh, so just mix these up. And I did eyeball these, but thank goodness there are like lines in these little cups. So I did uh, do it to like the top of one of the little lines here. So it's easier for me to uh, see. Um, so once we mix this one up and we mix the, our other one up, when we join them together, I'm actually going to uh, join in the side B with the side A. Now, I don't even, I don't know why, but with all of these clear castings, one of the sides is always super, super thick. So for this one, it is side uh, A that's thick. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's just like, well, you can't really see it, but whatever. Uh, it's just super, super thick. And side A is basically like liquid. So we're gonna join side A with side B. It's just like the easier thing to do. Um, it's easier to like pour a pretty liquidy thing into a, you know, into that one than to pour something that's like super thick into a, into this one. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Just gonna mix, mix these up for about a minute. And you all are gonna see some air bubbles uh, come into these and that is okay. Uh, we are gonna have a nifty little trick after this to show you guys how to get the air bubbles out which is super fun. So don't fret those little air bubbles. Uh, they will come out and you will end up uh, with a beautiful, glossy, clear um, resin just like we showed you on our finished one. So, Joe, do we have anything? Do you care to show them what brand and what, what we got again? What we got just, again, yeah. Just sure. so we're clear on what we're using here. Sure, sure, sure. So here it is. It is the amazing brand and it is a two-part clear cast casting and coating. And I'll just show you guys the serial number. I know you guys like to look at serial numbers if you wanted to screenshot that and, you know, kind of put that into Michael's or Hobby Lobby. We did get this at Hobby Lobby. Um, as you can see, it was $17.99. But um, you're able to make a lot. A little goes a long way with uh, this resin. So that is uh, a good thing that a little goes a long way. So you don't have to worry about um, wasting much if you measure it out correctly. So we're just fixing, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these together. So I'm just going to pour this side into this side. I'm going to scrape the sides to try and get all I can because, again, you really want these to have equal parts. That's looking pretty good. Looking good. But, guys, again, membership is 20% off while Tanner's gone. Uh, so go get that if you would like. I'm going to grab some paper towels here and clean up my mess along the way. And now that they're poured together, guys, we're going to spend about three full minutes around about there um, until it's all homogenous and it's all, you know, mixed in well together. So just, you know, just go at it. And it's really important to use um, things that you can throw away because you, you really cannot rinse any of this out. So, you know, use a plastic cup, use this uh, jumbo popsicle stick. Goodness knows if you are a, a well-rounded crafter, you've got these just taking up a bunch of space in your craft room. So just, just use these and we're just mixing away. But what, what, what exactly is resin? Is it like a high gloss or how, how would you describe yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a high, it's just like a high gloss and it, uh, so you put the parts together and really the parts alone, of course, doesn't do anything. But once you put the parts together, it like, you know, quote unquote, activates it. So it's just going to be a very hard, uh, thick, clear coat that you can put over over top of really whatever you wanted. I've seen some awesome people do like, a, they've got like a thrifted tabletop and put a bunch of pennies on it. I don't know if you've seen that, Joe. They put like yeah. a bunch of little pennies on a tabletop and they've just poured a bunch of uh, mixed resin or epoxy over it and it just like dries uh, really clear and really pretty and it's really durable afterwards like th this stuff I know that um, 
like if you do it on cups it can be ran through the dishwasher and things like that it's it's pretty it's pretty good stuff once you're done with it but as you can see here on the in the finished one um, it's just like a thick like you can hear it it's just like a thick resin that went over here uh, not not a ton of it you know we didn't use a lot for this and you can use as much as you want to depending on how thick you want it and um, we did we have done some pretty cool projects uh, with it over on uh, one of our blog websites a little craft in your day um, we did an awesome or Courtney I'm not going to take the credit Courtney did it but she made a really fun uh, confetti tray for uh, New Year's Eve where she like had a tray and she put a bunch of like those big confetti pieces in it and then she poured resin in it and it turned out gorgeous it was beautiful and it I just really like resin you can really do a lot with it so I'm done mixing I'm going to scoot us in a bit here so that you guys can see what's going on so I'm just going to mix for a few more seconds and then I'm going to scrape off my little jumbo craft stick here toss that and I'm just going to pour it now it doesn't you can always move it around when you're done but I'm just going to like pour it around here just pouring it right like this why on earth would I throw away my craft stick I need it to scrape this lovely job Rachel you're so smart I'm gonna go get that craft stick I just threw away <laughs> got it so now we're just going to scrape this because you don't want to waste any pour it all in here and then now you might be thinking i did not use enough what's wrong here so what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your tray and you're just going to tilt it you're going to tilt it all around here and then you're going to see that you do have plenty so you're just going to tilt it in all these little nooks and crannies here and um, once it like hits the bottom you're just going to stop and you're going to move it around um, and once it finally uh, gets to the spots you want it just continue to move it you know you can even use uh, your popsicle stick to kind of you know kind of get it in the spots that um, hasn't been hit yet just moving it around you can see it just kind of falling down to the corner over here once it touches the corner we're just gonna whoop turn it you know get all up in there but it's looking good it's looking good and it, we're, we're just wanting a, a very thin a very thin coat uh, for this resin we don't want to use use too much so we're just going with it it's it's looking great though resin's fun to work with though it, it really is fun to work with but you can see it moving down Karen wants to know if she has to have the maker in order to make the membership worth it no you do not no we we get questions like that a lot and it is it is most definitely not just for the maker we have so many wonderful uh people that do have the membership that um are with you know brother scan and cut or silhouette cameo and things that do not have the um uh, adaptive tool system that the maker has so really guys uh, you know if no matter what machine you have you really can make it worth your while you know with the uh, explore air is that what she has the explore air is that she, what she, she said? didn't say i'm not sure oh well you know you but you do not have to have the maker to make uh, the membership worth it uh the membership is an awesome die cutting membership for all kinds of die cutting machines not uh not one in particular uh is better than another one or gets more value than another one of course as you i mean you can see that we we do have some things specially curated for a cricket here and that's just because that's what we use the most but this whole guide here is not uh, would not be worthless if you had a different machine there is a lot of awesome uh, resources in here for other other die cutting machines other than a cricket and our cutting files and everything like that is compatible with any machine that can handle SVGs or PNGs so I mean all the newer machines can totally handle this easy peasy but um, now that we have poured our resin guys I know you're seeing all these little bubbles here and let me zoom in so you can see them uh, clear so here's what this one looks like right now and then here is our finished one so here's our finished one and then that one's the one that we're working on now you can see it's a little cloudy and a little less clear so the trick here guys is a lighter um, so just any household lighter uh, of course I do have to be honest here uh, ones that you can turn on and leave on would be uh, super great 
like those cooking torches that you use to make creme brulee and things like that. Those would be awesome because you don't have to like hold them on all the time. But um, if you don't have, like if you're not a chef, why would you have one of those? <laughs> so this works just as good. So you're just gonna turn your lighter on here and it is kind of blow torchy and you're just gonna literally just like light up the, the top layer here. Of course, don't touch your lighter to it, but you're just gonna light up the, the top layer here and you will see that it's uh, it's removing these little bubbles. I wish that I could get in closer and let it be a little more satisfying for you guys. But and I don't know if you're picking it up, Joe. Make sure you let me know if you're if you're picking it up at all. But it just it just like pops all those little bubbles and makes it super super clear. So that way, you know, once it dries and everything, it'll be completely flawless and you will be ready to rock and roll with your new tray. Now, this does need a lot of time to set. So what I would highly recommend doing is when you're already like going to get all of your um, supplies to make this, go ahead and get one of those like 50 cent sheets of, uh, oh, what is it, poster board and set a post piece of poster board over this in a, you know, in a cool dry place while it dries just so like no um, dust can get on it or anything like that because we don't want anything messing up our awesome project here. So I'm just going through here. Uh, Patricia wants to know if a heat gun will also work with this. So a heat gun will work. It'll take a little more time. It really what happens is the flame just kind of like shocks it and it pops all those bubbles. So a heat gun would work, but I would be a little bit more scared of burning my resin with a heat gun. Whereas, you know, with this, you really only have to leave it on there for, you know, like one second and then move it all around to make sure you're getting everything. Whereas, you know, with a heat gun, you would have to have that concentrated heat there for an extended amount of time in order to do the same thing. So, I mean, a heat gun would work. Test it out and see how you like it. But, you know, I, I would say everyone has a little household lighter uh, handy. But that is a good idea, though. A heat gun probably would work just fine. But... Midge wants to know how long you let it dry for. Uh, 24 hours. I'll, I'll give it a good 24 hours. And it, it depends on how much resin you use as well. But we did not use very much resin uh, for this project. So um, we're just going to let this dry for about 24 hours. Again, uh, we're going to get a piece of a poster board and lay it on top just so no dust or anything gets, uh, gets in here and gets stuck. And uh, then it'll dry beautifully and you won't even have to worry about it. So that's... That's good. This thing will not go out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> We're good. No fires here today, I promise. Kathy wants to know if this is food safe once it dries. Uh, it is food safe. Now, I, oh man, man alive. The definition of food safe. I wonder what that is. <laughs> um, could you eat off of it? I, 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 does it count if I say I would? <laughs> Because I would, I would eat off of it. That counts it. enough for me. Does it? I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, I would eat off of it when it's done. I mean, once it's dry, guys, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just like a very hard, durable, like a layer, like just a, I mean, you could, you could put a Clorox wipe on this, stuff could spill on this, you could wipe it up. I mean, people use this on their floors. So like, yeah, I, I would, I would say this is food safe, you know, by many definitions, but but yeah, it's food safe. I would say. I would eat off of it, at least. So, do you have any other questions, though, Joe? I don't believe so for now. No questions? Do you want to switch camera angles? Probably need to. Probably. It's okay, Probably need though. Probably need to. But, so, once you have it in here and you have had your awesome lighter, guys, and you pop all those little bubbles. Now, guys, oh, it's so satisfying to pop all those little bubbles. I love it. Once you're done, again, put some poster board over it, put it in a cool, dry place where your kiddos won't get in the way of it or anything like that because it really does need to just kind of chill out and dry. Um, you don't want anything falling in it, any hairs or little dust particles or anything like that because you will be able to see it. But the finished product, guys, is gorgeous. It's a really uh, thick material. I think it ended up great. And you don't really use a ton of poly... Uh, I was about to say polyurethane. You really don't use a ton of resin, uh, but you can if you want to. So this is uh, one of those projects where you can just, um, you can make however uh, much of it you want. So you could have a really thick layer, a really thin layer, whatever you'd like to do. But guys, again, the membership is 20% off. We have an awesome uh, little sign up page. Uh, if you want to upgrade from a monthly to a, or a six monthly up to a yearly, just go ahead and email us at the contact us page on the website. If you remember, 
or at hi at makersandlearn.com. For any and all uh, customer service questions, you can also email us there too. Our customer service team is uh, working uh, seven days a week, which is amazing. So you will get your questions answered in a very timely manner. But if there's no more questions, Joe, anything else? I don't believe so. Well, if there's no more questions, okay. guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this project. I love the way it turned out. Go get your membership for 20% off. You guys will absolutely love it. It is so amazing. And I know that a die cutting machine is a investment. And if you pour into us for a year, then we will pour back into you and not hold anything back to our yearly members. So go get that membership, guys, 20% off. But anyways, guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday. We're going to be back tomorrow with a really fun craft having to do with their Disney collection. I'm super excited. So stay tuned for that, guys. Me and Joe will be back tomorrow at 11, around 1130. And we will see you then, guys. But you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.